The idea of growing a heart in a Petri dish might seem like something out of science fiction, but thanks to recent breakthroughs in regenerative medicine, it is now a reality. In a groundbreaking study, scientists have successfully grown a miniature heart using stem cells, marking a significant step forward in our understanding of heart disease and the potential of regenerative medicine to develop new treatments. The miniature heart, which is about the size of a grape, was grown using induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, a type of stem cell that can be generated from adult cells, such as skin cells, and then reprogrammed to behave like embryonic stem cells. This means that they can be used to create a wide range of cell types, including heart cells, without the need for human embryos. The process of growing the miniature heart is a complex one that involves several weeks of culturing the iPSCs and coaxing them to differentiate into the various types of cells needed to create a functional heart. The researchers also used a technique called organ on a chip to mimic the mechanical forces that would be experienced by a developing heart in the body. This involved growing the heart cells on a flexible scaffold that could stretch and contract like a real heart. The resulting miniature heart is a remarkable feat of engineering and biology. It has all of the necessary components of a functioning heart, including chambers, blood vessels, and electrical activity. The researchers were able to observe the heart beating in real time and even use it to test the effects of drugs on heart function. One of the most significant advantages of growing a miniature heart in a petri dish is that it can be used to model different types of heart disease and test the effectiveness of different drugs or interventions. This could speed up the process of drug discovery and lead to more personalized treatments for patients with heart disease. For example, the researchers were able to use the miniature heart to study hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a genetic condition that causes the heart to become abnormally thick and can lead to heart failure. By growing a miniature heart with a genetic mutation that causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the researchers were able to study the disease in a controlled laboratory environment and test potential treatments. This research has important implications for the future of cardiology and regenerative medicine. By using stem cells to grow miniature organs in a petri dish, researchers can now study diseases and test potential treatments without the need for animal testing or human trials, which can be time-consuming, expensive, and ethically controversial. Moreover, the use of iPSCs to create the miniature heart is a significant development in regenerative medicine. IPSCs offer a non-invasive and ethical way to create a wide range of cell types, making them a promising tool for developing new treatments for a variety of diseases. The implications of this research go beyond just the development of new treatments for heart disease. The ability to grow miniature organs in a Petri dish could have implications for the study and treatment of other diseases as well. For example, researchers could use the same techniques to grow miniature livers, kidneys, or lungs, which could be used to study diseases and test potential treatments. While the development of a miniature heart in a Petri dish is an exciting breakthrough, there is still much work to be done before this technology can be used to develop new treatments for patients with heart disease. However, this research represents an important step forward in our understanding of heart disease and the potential of regenerative medicine to revolutionize healthcare. As researchers continue to explore the possibilities of this field, we can look forward to even more exciting breakthroughs in the future.